Well, hello there, people that watch my videos. I'm not in my usual place for filming videos today. Recently, my house is just filled with people and I never find the time to film videos. So, I have hijacked my mum's chemistry lab today to film a video for you. And yes, I know what you're thinking, and no, she doesn't cook meth in here. I don't think. But yeah, let's ignore this. Um, because I'm not gonna be doing science today. Today. <laughs> I'ma just be talking about my chest, in which I had surgery 12 months ago. Kinda looks like a doctor's surgery, which is appropriate for this video. You've already read the title, you know what's going on. A year ago, I had top surgery. If you haven't watched that video, I will leave a link in the description so you can. I filmed that top surgery video within the span of a six month period. I filmed the surgery, the healing process, and then pretty much six months after I had surgery. It's now been a year and I am completely fully healed. So I wanted to make just a quick video to, to wrap up this part of my transition and um, share my experience with you guys. I really want to try and not repeat a lot of the stuff that I had in my previous video, so. Like I said, healing completely done. From here, I think the scars are now just going to settle into my body, and yeah. So yeah, like I said, everything is completely healed now. Um, the scars obviously are continuing to settle, um, but, but everything is done. I did mention in my previous video that I scar keloid, which is basically one of the worst forms of scarring and I'm just so grateful that my chest decided not to go that way. Definitely the sign of an incredible surgeon. The scars like around here where I guess I'm doing the most stretching have probably changed and had the hardest time healing. They're quite a lot thicker and just angry <laughs> but considering that I scar really bad um, they're incredible. You may also notice that I have a tattoo um, and it does cover a portion of my scars. I have had scars tattooed over before and I think I've come to the realisation that it's not that it hurts, but for me personally, psychologically, it just messes me up. I don't like scars, I don't like scar tissue, so to have a needle jammed in it, like it's... <laughs> Nah, so much of the area is numb, so a lot of the pain I experienced was definitely psychological. So I'm gonna say, if you two are wanting to tattoo over the scars on your chest, but you are being held back by the pain side of things, don't let that worry you, because, you know, the chest isn't a comfortable place to be tattooed, um, but adding the scar tissue it's it's not going to add to that pain um, as long as you psychologically prepare yourself beforehand. I'm so glad that I have covered um, a portion of my scars and also around here I have a tattoo that uh, covers up the side scarring too and I'm really excited to just keep adding to that so my scars will soon be, you know, not the first thing that you see when I have my top off. So, yeah. Let's talk about debt. A good, fun, family-friendly subject that everyone likes to talk about. <laughs> this surgery cost me $19,000. I was only just employed when I booked in my surgery, so I was only able to pay $4,000 up front. The remaining $15,000 I had to get out um, by my bank uh, in the form of a loan. <laughs> I don't really want to go into too much detail of payments and things, but top surgery is still seen as a cosmetic procedure, um, which is why it's not funded in New Zealand. It's a year later and I'm still very much paying off that loan. When I took it out, um, it was organised to be paid off over a period of five years. I've been paying it off monthly and the interest is not great. <laughs> Like I said, I got out a $15,000 loan and I think I've just gone under the $13,000 mark. So, <laughs> when I think about the amount of actually paid towards this loan, knowing that it's just been over 2,000 that's been paid off. 
it's actually been a lot more than that, but you know, interest. <laughs> Although it's destroyed my credit score and it is a lot of money to be paying back, um, I in no way regret what I did and I, I'm happy. This surgery has changed my life in so many ways and I, I, I can't imagine being at this point in my life now and still having to bind. Since having the surgery, a lot of guys have, uh, have approached me and asked about, you know, my, my surgeon and the process of getting it done. And like, it, it makes me really emotional because I remember messaging, it feels like hundreds of local trans guys about the exact same things and almost feeling so defeated. So to be there and, and see them going through the same thing, it like breaks my heart. Especially now that the surgeon who did my surgery, him being one of the only surgeons that offers that in my area of the country. It's thrown a bit of a spanner in the works for, for local trans guys who have been, you know, putting away money towards the surgery or have been making plans to, you know, have it in, in five or so years. It's, um, it's kind of just added another obstacle for them and like I, my heart breaks for them, you know. It, it just makes me think of when I was there and if I was in their situation right now, I'd, I'd be devastated. Hopefully though, with the surgery becoming more popular, um, it will encourage more surgeons to start offering um, the surgery and hopefully one day it will also be funded to uh, help. So yeah, as much as I like complaining um, about my debt and credit score, uh, I would take that over not having my surgery any day, so there's no question um, that I would do the exact same thing again if, if it came down to it, so yeah. Kind of a weird thing I wanted to touch on which I didn't talk about in the last video is stretching. I am really into gymnastics and I love stretching. So that was obviously something I was concerned about with the, the healing, was stretching the scars and knowing when I could stretch and how much I could stretch. I didn't want to put any unwanted pressure on, you know, the skin that was trying to knit itself back together. <laughs> and me essentially pulling it apart, like, yeah, I... I... <laughs> so a year later I've only recently kind of got back into stretching, um, and I haven't noticed anything bad with the scars per se, um, but I can still definitely feel that pulling in my chest area, so I try to take it easy. Yeah, if you didn't know, by the way, I got an Instagram, um, kind of following the journey of my stretching and gymnastics and contortion and whatever the fluff you want to call it. This is my handle, or I'll link my Instagram in the description if you want to follow it. Um, see me doing bare niches like this. <laughs> trying to make myself become a, a human pretzel. So yeah, like I said, I just kind of wanted to make this video to wrap up this um, part of, of my transition. Who knows, I might touch again on the subject in the future, um, but for now this is kind of just like me farewelling, it's not a word, <laughs> the process of my top surgery and yeah. I'm so happy that I had it done. It's changed my life in more ways than I can even think. I always like to take a step back and appreciate the things that I can actually do now that I've had the surgery. So much of my dysphoria has been completely diminished and I'm just forever thankful. The experience in itself as well was amazing and I met so many incredible people and David Glasson at the team at Bowen Hospital with just amazing and of course i wish david glasson a happy retirement he has been a saving grace for so many trans guys and um yeah he he is in need of a well-deserved break and if he's watching this which he probably isn't um i just want to thank you for changing my life and and so many others like you are a literal <laughs> godsend and just thank you Jesus, this is getting sappy, I better end. <laughs> thank you guys for accompanying me on this journey of my surgery. And thanks for being with me in this lab. Cheers, mum, for letting me use it.
I really need to go, it's so hot in here, but in classic Jed style. I just don't know how to wrap up a video. Like, I don't know how to do it. How do you do it? How do you do this? <laughs> Thanks for watching. You can subscribe. Or not, just, you know. <laughs> Fuck, bye. Yeah, that's a good ending. Cool. <laughs>